don't really know how to play the piano, but I do know how to edit. Yo, Karla Fretta, my name is Arnulur, and this whole sequence, 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 I don't know what to say. Anyways, this whole sequence was shot with just a tripod and a camera and me, and then the movements were added in afterwards. And today I'm showing you how easy it is to fake those camera movements. All right, so welcome to Premiere Pro. Now the basic principle of this is the most important thing to understand. So let's create a sequence, okay? So we take here and we just move it down here. So the basic principle is that you're punching in, you're zooming a little bit in and that allows you to move the frame. So whatever editing software you use, that's the basic principle. This is what we do here. So we take go up here and we punch it into, let's say 115. Now what this allows us to do, look, is that to see, so you can see it here. Now we have all this space here to move the image around the frame, essentially creating movement, right? Cool. So with the use of keyframes here, the scale, you can allow you to either zoom in or zoom out. And the position allows you to mess with the position of your image, okay? And you need to create keyframes. So if we go fit here again, you create keyframes by toggling these animations. So you toggle, and toggle so let's say that we want to create a zoom out effect then you basically only have to manipulate with the scale so you go all the way to the end i like to just do it right around here you see why in a second and we go 100 okay and we move this all the way here to the end and now look when we play it it's zooming out all right and that's because you're using keyframes you see here are keyframes and you can see when this is moving see that this is moving becoming bigger and bigger and bigger creating an effect that it seems like this is zooming out if you want to move you know create a little bit of pan what you need to do then is when you start here and remember we can start this from how far can you push this okay there is too much here okay and now we go to the end and we move it like so and we then take this keyframe move it all the way to the end and look what happens now now it's moving a little bit pan but we're also zooming in so if we want to ditch the zoom effect we can just delete this here and we go here and we go under 15 and now you look what happens now it's moving to the right it's just panning to <laughs> see how passionate i am <laughs> so this is how you either zoom in zoom out or left and right I just want to quickly add that after you toggle the animation, you create the keyframes by either clicking the add keyframes button or when you move or change the scale, position or rotation, Premiere will automatically create a keyframe for you. And of course, you can move this in any direction, up, down, left, right, zoom in, zoom out, rotate or even diagonally. The world is yours. The world is yours. It is. So back to the video. A nice tip to know here too is that if you shoot in 4K and put it on a full HD timeline, essentially what happens then you have way more space to move around. So look, let's create a full HD timeline here. And now when we put this 4K footage, let's put this one here and put this on like so. Look how much space we have. So if you go in 10, you can already see that we have a lot of space from the beginning. And this is super nice to know because if you're working a 4K timeline with a 4K footage and you zoom in, eventually you're losing a little bit of quality. So you can't punch, it, punch in too much. But here you're already punched in 50%. So you have a lot of room to play with without, you know, losing a lot of quality, which is... Mwah. So going back to the fit size like so, now we can play around with this. Let's take this down to around 65. And remember the always toggle animation and now we can move to the other side like so and we go all the way here and then we just move it however we like and you can move it however you like and if you play you can do this awesome you don't always have to do left or right you can also create a little bit of rotation this is a cool thing to know so if you delete this and now we zoom in let's a little bit more let's zoom into here and now that we all almost created a, let's have it like this, like so, 80. And look, in the rotation, you can also play along. So we toggle animation, and then we go, let's say we're gonna move it. How far can we push this? We push it like so, but we also wanna zoom out in the same time. So maybe we can't do this much. Maybe 
And you can see up there in the corner here how far you can go. And this is just playing around with it. We can go here is pretty cool. So look what happens now. Now we can move this piece all the way to the end. See, it's just, and this is too fast in my opinion. So what I would do here, I would actually consider creating less of an zoom out effect. So it would be like this. Yeah. Here you can do this. Like if you're doing a drone shot, you can create some distorts, like distorting horizontal, not horizontal, distorting horizon. So it's like a little bit inception movement. Mm, I like that. Super nice. One extra tip you can do if you create adjustment layer and create black bars on top of that, you're essentially creating a little bit more room for you to move. So let's do it like this. We create an adjustment layer, adjustment layer here, and we put it on top like so. And then you go to FX and here I have black bars. You can also download them in the link, link below. They're totally free or up here and like so. Look what happens now. Now you essentially have all this space to move up and down. So if we want to create some sort of a like position here and let's position this. How far can we move this? No, not the black bars. I'm sorry. We should do it here. Here we should do it. <laughs> so we should go. Okay, we start here and we move it this one like so so look what happens now goes up and down and this is super nice if you're creating a sequence where you are walking and you wanted to like slowly show what you're doing walking from behind all cool and stuff that's how you can you uh, add utilize this super easily so i think i've gone through all i've been rambling here for a long time uh, basically you're punching in and you do that by punching in here in Premiere Pro punching like so you are creating keyframes by toggling the animation and then you're just basically playing around with this so you're playing around like how you want this to be and then you just look take a look at how it looks and they're like ooh, super nice so that's you know the basic principle you're always zooming in to create space and then you're just moving around. Whether you want to zoom in, then you just basically zoom in the end of the clip, or you want to zoom out, then you start real and uh, zoomed in, and then the end of the clip, you are zooming out, and it creates this movement that you're zooming out. So that's it. That's it for me today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below. I'll promise that I'll do my very best to answer. I, I, I filmed this a few times, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I've gone through everything. I mean, if, it's, if I didn't do a good job, I just don't want to release the video. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.